Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in vanilla Hoi 4 using of course colored buttons and the player of the peace conferences mods and which we're using of course no step back DLC as well but we're playing as a German Reich right now but as you can tell from the thumbnail we're going to get a little monarchist soonish, but we're going to do the four-year plan to begin with. We need an ambitious plan to provide for the rearmament and ultimate self-sufficiency of the nation. This should be achieved within the next four-ish years in autarky, but Germany be truly great. It must be self-sufficient. We must make better use of our resources and become more efficient in our construction. Now, I said we want to become monarchists, so why don't we do the whole uh, pose Mr. H Daddy? Well, that is because I want to take out Poland first, because I want to see how efficient the starting German sort of-ish army is. Uh, compared to uh, the starting Polish army, sort of ish. We only have 24 and 6. Huh. And we do have quite a few planes here as well, don't get me wrong, but just to see what it's like, because I've not played Germany yet at the time of this recording, um, with the no step back DLC, and uh, so here we are. We're training our navy, having a good old time, even though we're going to be losing all our fuel. We'll probably lose uh, so Southern Ostpreisen, but oh well. It is what it is. Sacrifices have to be made. Now, my goal for this campaign is to see and test out what the supply system is like for Germany. How good, how bad is Germany, especially a monarchist Germany? Um, oh, also, we're on Aestorical as well. I have no idea what's going to happen, so... How, how good is, you know, monarchist Germany in or using these no-setback DLC and the latest update of the time it's recording? Especially when we try to take out the Soviet Union. Especially when we try to take out France, if they don't join us, which they probably won't. So we'll see what happens, and I also want to get some big, thick, heavy battleships. That's where I really want to test out tanks too, so we'll see what happens. We'll do the best we can, we'll see what happens. And that's why we're still building up a lot of factories over here. A whole bunch of them. Autarky after Autarky. And after, so we are still uh, justifying on the good old pole, so. It's going to take a little bit of time, so that's why we're doing these focuses, other focuses, first. I'm in Goring We can do that one. Oh, oh, it's not bad. Let's do this one first. We must rid ourselves of the fickle influence of private capitalists. Therefore, we will form an industrial conglomerate under our control to oversee growth in the mining and steel sectors, as well as this will form the backbone of our military industry. As long as the, the Poles are not guaranteed by the uh, UK or the Allies, we should be okay, but you never know. Alright, not bad. It is, of course, still May 1936. Get some industry. And we shall go with anything here for tanks? Yes, more speed. More speed is very bueno. Anyone over here while we're doing this? We might as well... Oh, Garvels. First among equals. Oh, this is a change. Oh, heavy fighter focus, huh? And more political power. Prince of Terror. Oh, Martin Borman. We're not going to use that, but honestly, getting more political power now might be really nice. I'm not really sure if we can really do anything with it, to be honest with you. If anything, hmm. We go to war with them first, and we'll have the Civil War. Ah, let's get Rudolf Hess. Why not? Why not? Just just because we can. Now we get 1.73 political power every single day. Not bad. And Autaki, of course. Uh, sub Daddy. Uh, honestly, a pretty crappy sub and some ships. But yeah, I want a mega German fleet. Even though I think I've done this before, but we'll see what happens. Oh, and keep investing in the, uh, the Dutch. I don't want to forget about the Dutch. Not too much. And then KFD Wagen. We will allow our citizens to purchase their own future people's car through a savings scheme, which in turn we will use to finance the construction of the factories that will eventually contribute in building these cars. Um, yeah, I, I did say, like, starting army, well, we're still trying to flesh out our regular army for now, too, so. That is fine with us. Go and train. Train, 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 train. Um, and we probably, uh, I don't know, I don't want to make the, this side, the, uh, fascist side too strong, but we might want to edit these divisions just a little bit. And yeah, there's no way we can hold this out, so. Anyone over here? Yeah, I don't want to grab Victor Schultz, huh? Alright, not bad. But we do have a, a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm as well, so. We should do, okay. well... Wellish against these guys. No guarantees. Uh, attack bombers, that's not bad. More attack bombers, you go there. Attack bombers, you go there. We got some construction, which is bueno, bueno, bueno. Uh, get some of that stuff as well. National Spain is killing itself. So sorry, Spain. We're not really going to care about you too much this campaign, but maybe the next one. And you were some cats, which we love cats a whole lot. And then we got some planes. Bing bong boom. Some fighters, because I'm pretty sure that Poles will not have an Air Force. Obviously, our Air Force is in, isn't as good as it could be, but it could be a lot worse, actually. And we're just going to get as many factories as possible before the war starts. And you go over there. Or the supply, because you can. Why not? And just in case, let's keep doing this, too. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, I forget how it works when we do go to war or have the Civil War. So we'll see. And extra research slot will be great to grab next. But... 
Oh, we could do that one. I might want to say that one. Let's get some more dockyards. Right, naval rearmament. I almost never do this one. The Anglo-German naval agreement was secured in 1935. It allows us to expand our navy greatly. We should spare no effort in doing so. Yes, please. Please don't guarantee them. Oh, thank goodness. Only less than two months now. We're running out of fuel. That is not good. That is not bueno. Mm. There you go. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Improved engine is very good. Get some more armor. Yes. We question the sovereignty of the Poles. Yes, as we should. And this one, it takes a little bit more time, but that's fine. Go and do that one. We want more fuel. And maybe more ships. Yeah, we should do some naval dockyard stuff. Yeah, and research naval stuff. Yeah, naval stuff. Yeah. Uh, don't forget about the Dutch. We got about a week left. And let's grab who? Ah, screw it. We'll get the silent recourse. Now we get almost, oh, not even quite. Two political power every day, but that's okay. Because because of the MEFO bills, that sucks, but that's okay. Uh, Dutch boys, we love those Dutch boys. Anything else? Any other ships? Oh, not bad. Keep training, keep training, keep going. I'm not sure if we can this naval XP order to carry over. If anything, we should probably get one of the starting start the naval doctrine and get that one done first, and then get the other stuff done. Yeah, we're focusing on quite a few fighters and then quite a bit of cast as well, because that's going to be super beneficial. Now I'll do some naval rearmament. And let's grab two, two maybe. That'd be nice. And why do we want to go to war with Poland? Mostly because we can. Because who doesn't want to go to war with Poland? I always want to go to war with Poland. I wake up and I'm like, I love Poles. Well, let's see what happens. Oh well, we removed MFO bills, but that's fine. Whatever. Then again, we do need a little bit of fuel. Oh boy. Oh boy, uh, but you guys, there you go, you guys stop training too, thank you very much, go home, and thank you very much, and you actually do that, see what you can do, Germany war again, for the glory of the German nation, anyone want to interfere with us, I'll let them come in, no we can't hold it anyways, that's fine, I don't really care, and I'll let them take the towel, and now we can do this, bing, bong, boom, yeah, don't train. Don't train. There you go. Oh, they're doing force defense. Look at that. Interesting. Well, we're going to get rid of a lot of poles. A lot of poles. Dutch boys, yes. And I knew they'd be attacking us eventually. Uh, air superiority wise, we should be doing more than fine of anything. Go throw some more command power on there so we can hit them even harder. Around 17 to 21 ish. Uh, ground support's not bad. Oh, do we just do so How many did we lost? 6,000 versus 56, 58, 59? Nice. Pretty good. War bonds. Uh, we could, but we're going to be heading towards Civil War too after this anyways. Dominions break with the crown. That's good to see. And what happens if we do oppose Hitler? Oh, Hitler's reign must come to an end. He means to provoke the Western powers by remilitarizing the Rhineland, but doing so will give us the excuse we need to seize power with the help of the lower elements of the Wehrmacht. Very good. After this, what do we do with all this pee, -pee? Mm. We can improve worker conditions. Oh, they're attacking us too. Look at that. Oh, wow. It is spirits. Good job, guys. I know I've done this before, like we attack Poland first and then have a civil war, but I honestly can't remember really the last time I did it, so. That's why we're doing it now. Go in, see what you can do. Nice. Yeah, they've lost a lot of guys. All of Warsaw, 100,000 have died. And we've only lost less than 20,000. Not bad. 96, come on. Push it any harder. Allenstein should still be ours. Do we get Krakow? Ooh, trains, basic armor protection, nice. Uh, medium tanks, yeah, I'll go and grab some of that. Grab some of the armor stuff, because I really want to get that stuff too. Plane-wise, I like that stuff, but... Carriers are really far behind on. Um, oh, we're so close for that too. Hmm, something simple. Air doctrine, thank you. If we lose all that naval experience, it'll be a whatever. Oh, do you think, uh, I don't want to give them any upgrades yet. Nope, no, 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 no. Maybe become an extra specialist if you really want to, though. Yeah, take the towel, because we will have the Civil War starting soon-ish. Ah, we got them. Beautiful. No, we could pop with them, but... I prefer Total Conquest. Thank you. So now, I might just... When the Civil War starts, I might just delete the entire army here. We'll see. Uh, Occupied territories. This might change when we do other stuff. Cavalry brigades, please. Uh, maybe not, actually. You know what? Actually, let's do this. Let's duplicate them. I spelled it wrong, but I am too lazy to change it. Thank you. There you go. Not bad. Keep them suppressed. We love the suppression. And just switch on over to motorized. So, when the Civil War starts, we'll see what happens. 
companies demand MEFO payment. But the end of the recent war, the companies we have issued MEFO bills to are now pushing for us to issue payments. They claim there is no longer any necessity with all payments for the good of the fatherland. Okay. Sounds good. So after we pause Hitler, secure the new state, we gotta be at peace first. Naval effort's not bad either. Um, hmm, could wait for that one. Uh, extra research slot. Our industrial expansion, other recent advances, might allow us to conduct more R&D in parallel. Not a bad idea. But, 1937, the poles are gone. And we're feeling okay. Oh, we can have those national Spanish, but let them struggle. Let them struggle, and just in case, let's go and save and see what happens. Um, what if I just... You know what? You know what? We're gonna hurt ourselves pretty badly. You know why? We're gonna start fresh. Start completely fresh. Oh, no, we ran out of divisions. Oh, sorry. We just lost... Oh, oh, whoops. Oh, the Wehrmacht officers challenge Hitler. Latest dissatisfaction with Hitler's rules come to a head with a recurrent crisis caused by the administration's move to remilitarize the Rhineland. A number of Wehrmacht generals have rallied behind the well-known field marshal August von Mackensen, who has put in motion plans aiming to dispose Hitler and move the Nazi party from Germany. With the split in the German high command becoming very clearly apparent even abroad, foreign powers have elected not to pr protest against the remilitarization. More concerned with the growing internal German instability, the aging field marshal has moved quickly, already establishing a provisional government to which scores have flocked in their opposition to the Nazi government. The military coup is well on its way, but just Nazis scum from our lands. Oh no, which actually, this makes a lot more sense than trying to remilitarize the Rhineland. We took out Poland, which... It'd be funny that we had a civil war with Poland, but whatever. So this is why I did it. Oh, Germany, yeah, we ran out of cities. So now they will want to come all the way over here and be like, Oh my goodness, look at all this territory we have to seize. And we're like, oh boy. What a shame. And now we have more divisions. Oh, oh, look at that. A free research slot. We can, I would love that so much. Literally nothing but naked guys here. Not bad. Oh, we get more divisions too. Oh, we're almost here. Von Manstein. Oh, yes. Uh, von Witzleben is a pretty gosh darn good general to have. Field Marshal. Von Klug, I'll say for the tanks. I don't know. I don't know. Which, I don't have one. Use Rommel. One von Manstein. I always use like Manstein. I think or Guderian. No, I usually don't use Rommel. Hmm. I don't want to use Good. I want to use someone else. I always choose like Blaskovitz. I always choose that. Henrici. I used to usually choose. Yeah, let's use Less. Let's use Less. He's pretty good in defense, but you never know. Maybe he could become an offensive guy someday. Right, you can do that one. Hmm. Not bad. Infantry. Infantry is. Okay-ish. They could be better, but we can just go and slap some things on there. That'd be very nice. We go one, two, three, four. Uh, go six. And then tanks. Um, they're not great, but they're not terrible. So let's eat some tanks. We'll get a single motorized, maybe. Lamstrom regiment. Uh, oh, look at that flag. It's a beautiful flag. Total mobilization. Not a bad idea. Um, we're not gonna have those guys anymore very soon. But that's right. All right. What do we want? Vamel. Ooh. That's really good for armor. But infantry is probably the way to go. So we gotta wait a few days for that. Or go with Shorna. He's half a cost. But he, this guy gives you more daily army XP game. 5% more attack and 5% more defense. As much as I love von Witzleben, Shorna is the man with a plan. Uh, Blitzkrieg Theorist. We will be going mobile warfare as well, so. Wait. Von Manstein costs 150. This guy costs 100. The exact same doctrine cost. And 10% more armor speed. Oh my goodness. Why would we not choose him? Now, Germany brought in a civil war. Now we're going to give a few seconds, and then we're going to push out because... Okay, now we go. Just because, as you can see, they have to conquer, you know, reconquer Poland. Which is fine with us. Oh, no! Hitler's been found dead! Will the capture of Berlin, our troops discover the corpse of Hitler in a bunker in the city. Choosing death over seeing anti-fascist elements take over the country, the leader evidently took his own life rather than risk capture. In his stead, Daddy Heinrich Himmler has now stepped up to lead the Nazis, and he has already affirmed that the government will not obey in their fight against the anti-German treason. It is the beginning of the end for the Nazis. Oh, uh, you know, I did cut out here and there, but like, um, I don't know, it's just the German Civil War. It's pretty normal. I mean, nothing really too, uh, really radical about this whole Civil War. I mean, I've done it plenty of times. I just don't really care too much about it. All right, first of all, uh, let's look at our guys on the line. No more about attacking. Let's kind of solidify what we got right now. Um, over here, we got our stats and stuff like that. We're doing a gross vim, uh, what is it? Gross vim, uh, gross round shaft. We want to prepare Germany for its destiny as a centerpiece of Europe. Our infrastructure will bind together west with the east and the south with the north, which sounds pretty decent. Should I probably also get this guy too, Army Innovations. 
Heinz Guderi and other radical theorists are pushing for daring new doctrines emphasizing communication and identification of Schwerpunkt and local concentrations of combined armed forces. Giving them free reigns might help avoid the great the meat grinder uh, horrors of the Great War. Now they're attacking us and they want Berlin back, which does suck, but it's alright, Hitler, Hitler already killed himself. We should reward the guy who killed Hitler. That's alright though. Uh, we can't do that yet, so we get some more war propaganda, which we're doing pretty okay as well. We're still improving working conditions. Also, I did decide to go to total mobilization this time as well. Just uh, go a little crazy here. And uh, I'll save it for like extensive conscription or something. Something fun. Something a little fun. And this is why we stopped attacking, just because they will be attacking quite a bit as we will be improving our doctrines. As much as possible, of course. Total mobilization might be a bit extreme, but... Then again, why not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. Alright, they want to attack us, we'll attack them right on back. And you know what? They want to attack us, we're going to go force attack them too. They force attack, we force attack. Just a lot of dead Germans in the end. That's all it is. Lots and lots and lots of dead Germans. Ooh, Army High Command. But I can't spend PP on that yet. Oh, oh, not yet. Oh, we are losing quite a few things here, are we not? Oh, yes we are. Uh, that's unfortunate that we're not quite winning as much and as well as we really should be, honestly. Just because when they do force attack, and they don't lose too many guys, we do force attack. We lose quite a few guys, don't we? So let's hold it off for a little bit longer. Let them see if they can attack us, hurt our lines a wee bit, and then do that too. And it looks like we just deployed a few more soldiers, which is good. And let's go to extensive. Gross Raum Wirtschaft. Reich's Autobahn. Let's wait for that one. Army Innovations. Yeah, they're really pushing us out now, which I don't think is very fair, but whatever. Um, let's see, anything else? We feel gain, because we can. We lost 47,000 versus 67,000, which is... This is a bit stupid. Um, why do they have so many divisions? Oh, the Stone Brigade. Okay. All right, yeah, whatever. Uh, go retreat for now. There you go. Hang out. Hold out. Don't attack. Relax. We've got plenty of time. Just make sure you don't lose. That's like the biggest thing. Just don't lose. Hold up first. We lost plenty of guys. But this is really helping out with air docking, is it not? Also, we did get the air safety stuff too. Oh, uh, wherever it is. We did get some more air safety, which is very nice. And we're remobilizing now. Not bad. It's very weird. Like, they can force attack without any issues, and then we can. We try, and it doesn't work go well. Huh. Go figure. Of course, they have the SSR. They have a lot of, quite a bit of artillery too. Then again, we got quite a bit of stuff here as well. Infantry divisions. We need at least 20 combat width. Um, do we have any anti-air? Oh, no, we need some anti-air, though. Recon would be nice, at least for now, as well. Anything here? Uh, go Emperor, why not? Yeah, no. Yeah, don't lose, guys. That would suck. That would suck mighty, mighty. And uh, you go there, too. Should be able to win there. Should, 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 should. Ah, the German Civil War. Nothing like it. And Spain's gone. Goodbye, Spain. They're going there too. Because you can. Pakistan, Clearborn, India. Have a fun time, guys. Improved machine tools. Not bad. Uh, extraction, because you can. We're losing here. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Henrici. We did choose Henrici instead this time. So we'll see what happens. Um, they're still attacking. So we must attack here too. Should be able to do okay. We've only lost 71,000 versus killing 118,000. This is quite a few guys. Just just quite a few, that's all. Just just quite a few, that's all. Not bad. Uh, if you're going to move up anyways, you might as well go there too. And I might as well take you as well. Why not? Because we can. Yeah, this part, this part wasn't too bad, but then... I don't know. Did they buff these guys? I feel that they feel a little more buff than normal. Then again, I could be very, 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 very wrong about that. Uh, treat with the USSR. Why not? We can pursue a new research treaty with the Soviet Union in order to develop chiefly better tanks. If they agree, we can reopen the tank school that we closed down in Kama in 1933. Soviet cooperation will, of course, mean there's no two benefit for the innovations made, which is fun with us. Ooh, land auction, yes. Hey, more organization, finally. Yay, good stuff. And I'm glad we do have five research slots. My apologies for taking so long with this. It just it is what it is. Um, here we go, get some radio. That'd be nice. Please don't lose. That would suck. Quite a bit. Yeah, no, don't let them over the river. You seriously cannot literally allow them over the river. So. 
But you might be able to push them that way. Would you be nice? More extraction? Yes, please. Yeah, no, you're not. You, you literally cannot allow them over the river. I don't know where these people are getting all these extra, like, supply and stuff from. Why are they getting all this extra equipment? Uh, so, Union, thank you. How are we doing up here as well? We're still building? That's good. Good. Keep building. Everything here. Infantry specialist. We would have an infantry specialist, so we're okay for now. Keep on helping them out. Please, thank you. Please and thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Help them out. Yes, if you can. Yes. That would be delightful. Not really giving us that much army XP, which is a little disappointing. And I want more naval XP too, but... Hmm. Guys, can you not come over here? Come on. And how do they not have resistance over here? They do, but they're not taking any. Hmm. Questionable. Quite questionable. Come on, dude, general attack. That'd be really bad, probably. So, let's not do that. Oh, good. They're attacking us again. Very nice. Ah, oh, take all but you two. Go right there. Go right there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, disappears. Very good. And they attack us too. <sighs> Why? We have green air now. And we can't win here? No? But oh, god, I love all that air XP. Oh, it's so nice. Who needs a Spanish Civil War when you can have your own Civil War? Can we have Berlin back again? We'd love Berlin. Uh oh. Why do we keep losing stuff, guys? Can you not do anything here? Should you do the SSR? Cool. Saxon. And what else? Army Innovations 2. Air Innovations 2. Ooh, that's not bad. I'll give you that one immediately. The tasks of the Reich's Air Ministry are of paramount importance. The Luftwaffe must be the most advanced air force in the world. Oil processing is nice, too. It is, of course, 30. Seven still. Keep okay, uh, naval stuff. Well, it doesn't seem like we're going to get any more naval XP for a while, so I might as well do that. The Soviets accept. Our negotiations with the USSR has been successful. An agreement has been reached where our nations will aid each other in the development of new armored units, with a possible extension of to other research areas in the future. This should be the stepping stone to the future. Nice. Now we should have them under wraps. I could be very wrong and just lie right there, but I have no idea. Hopefully we'll get them done and taken care of. Anything else around here? Um, torpedoes would be very nice, actually. I would like carriers, too, but let's make sure we get very, very good, like, cruisers, because I love them lighties. Oh, someone died. Oh, well. Just don't die too often. Warp up again, uh, hmm. War Industrial is not bad. I do like the captive industry, but has, completed, has not completed demands to Dentland, so we're not going to go with that guy. If anything, let's get some more daily army XP. Oh, there we go. Nice. Showing it would be good. Which should give us extra push here. Quite a bit of extra push, actually. Actually, do they have any ministers? Maybe maybe that's why they're so strong. Do they have any ministers? Mr. Shia 6. It's hard to tell. Let's see. They're out of, oh, they're out of manpower, so. Yeah, I don't know. They're doing force of defense? Well, let's do it again. They like force defense, we like force attack. Makes it easy on everybody. Oh, and you guys uh, just kind of go there. Look at all that air XP we've gotten. Oh, and army XP, nice. Awesome. Excavation. Yeah, intervent. Oh, God. Interventionist policies. Well, that's not good. Oh, huh. well, that's really not good then. And we've won. That took way longer than I thought. My bad, everybody. My bad. I thought it'd be much faster than that, but apparently I was very wrong. Um, honestly, I don't really care about that one too much. Uh, get a little bit more arty. What else do we have here? Tr oh my goodness. No one care about that stuff. Improved. Basic heavies, mediums, basic mediums. Well, four is better than three. Basic heavies, eh, kind of okay. Basic medium chassis. Well, we have, if we have improved light tanks and basic mediums, hmm, what do we have here? It is thirty-seven. It's not bad. Twenty piercing, fourteen armor, 
54 armor is just too good to pass up, though. Um, let's take a look here for tank stuff. Anything here for 1938? 1940s tanks. Okay, so we got a while. So honestly, we could honestly just start making these guys. Keep a line on here. Keep a line on here as well. Any of your armored trains would be very good as well. Um, do that. You lower yourselves here by one, two. Uh, we'll keep that much here. Um, not bad. Oh, we got the fleet. Nice. Throw them in. Uh, throw them in. Throw them in. And then throw them in. Could be better. But it could be a lot worse. Could have been a lot better, though. Oh, boy. Oh, anything here? Yes. That's nice. You guys did okay. Not great, but okay. Lunch and regiments are gone, and the Germans of war is ended. Nazi leadership captured. At long last, we have freed a country from the grips of our enemies, and those loyal citizens who rose up to support our cause may now finally return to their homes as a nation. We may begin to the long and arduous process of rebuilding our nation. The country's leadership, in turn, is free to begin looking ahead at what might come in the future. Democracy return to the old monarchy. One last thing remains to be taken care of, however. With the end of the Civil War, our troops have managed to capture a large group of Nazi leadership now. There only remains the decision what to do with this unsavory part of recent history. Hang them? Or imprison them for life. I prefer imprisoning them for life. You never know what they might want. And we're still on, on uh, huh, total mobilization. Wow. That's a bit crazy. Um, What do we want? Infantry von Witzleben. It's not bad. Infantry specialist guy is a... Dude. Um, hmm. Hmm. This stuff would not be bad to grab either. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Martin Borman. Not this time. Maybe next time. Why? 150. 100. This is just better to do overall. I like that guy too, but... Mm, I want to definitely use Rommel eventually. Hmm. You get plus point one two. You might want... might be best to wait. Let's waste for now. After air, air innovations too, of course we want to secure the state. Oh, Hindenburg incident was okay. In the light of the civil war that formed, the provisional government lacks strength. We must ensure that it's secured and cannot be easily overthrown. Alright, not bad. 37, of course... Um, we got boom, boom. We need that one too. We'll go with one of these boomers. Yes. And go and train because we have six divisions now, which is not good. Not good at all. Now we do this one. Oh, it'd be fascist for this. Oh. And great. Okay then. They too went with non alignment. And Spanish, can, Spanish Republicans have been defeated. Good job, National Spain. Even without us, they still win. Good job, Francisco Franco. We're processing. Happy 1938, everybody. Let's grab some competing machine to make ourselves feel very good. And Yugoslavia requests a sale of planes. Realizing its strategic weakness, the Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize expanded forces. Significant money reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase. A commission is traveling around Europe to look for new sources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the urgency of the issue, the Yugoslavians have insisted on an immediate transfer or delivery of planes directly from the producer. Uh, 50. There you go. There were some bomber production. And then about the Kaiser Reich. The events of the past decade have shown that the democracy is too weak to keep nefarious internal elements at bay. We must return to the strong leadership of a Kaiser. And in preparation for its return, we shall revert the constitution, constitution back to that of the Deutsches Kaiser Reich. Because why not? The German Empire, the non aligned part of now, will be called the Deutsche Nationale Volkspartei. Increase world tension by a little bit more, but that's A-OK -okay with us. A-OK. -okay. My goodness, just... Crap all those divisions as fast as you possibly can, please. Radio, nice. Good, good, good. 38, 38. Uh, we, could, we could do that one, but I'll come over here too. Why not? Tanks, tanks, tanks. Train at least one. There you go. And then train at least one motorized. There you go. Um, Do we have any mediums already? Oh, we're making them. Well, it's taking some time to make them, but that's okay. We need way more manpower, too, but that's alright. It, that's all that happens. Actually, we need a bit more rubber as well. Trade away for one more. I want to make sure that we get as many planes as possible, because planes are muy importante. Train, do that. There you go. Not bad. Nah, I got a little bit of resistance here, but whatever. You know. National's victory, they just realized that for some reason, not sure why. Oh, there you go. Garrison. There you go. That's a lot better. Alright, come over here and do this one too. Because you can. 
Keep making them savies and millies, and even some roads are not bad too. Even though I would like some synthetic refineries as well. Secure the new states is not a bad idea. Uh, we've got to expand some of our own refineries and revive De Kaiserica. What else can we want to do here? Chief of the Army, Drill, Maneuver is not bad. Attack, I like the attack. I usually, usually, go, usually just go Organization, but Attack is still not bad either. I like that. Grab some of that too, because you can. Anything over here? Improved tanks, basic medium tanks. Pretty decent overall. Um, Infantry Specialist, yeah, we have a person who already has that. Crutch Student. Uh, that's okay. Air, we need, oh, air invasion. This one, three, three, three bomber stuff. You know what? Maybe we'll get. Maybe we'll try to go Hugo Sparrow. But we don't have a lot of time for that, so we gotta wait and get someone else. Point zero nine. Interception, attack, defense. Honestly, we're so far with pretty good on that. We need more naval XP, really. So naval AA attack, sub detection. You know what? I'll probably never choose this guy ever again. So I'll choose him. Uh, Trade interdiction? Why not? Why not? And land auction? Yes, please. Clamp down on fascismus? Yes, please. Yes. Oh, Sean Wilson's done, huh? Claim the Yugoslavian territory. Ooh. Maybe we'll use some heavy cruisers. You know what? Maybe we'll try to use some heavy cruisers in this campaign. We'll see. Uh, what did what did I just get rid of? Why did game, please? There we go. There you go. That's what we wanted. God, no game. Come on. You gotta be so careful when you click on stuff. Just so careful. Um, there you go. Level two. And secondary batteries. Level two. There you go. That's all we have. Well, it's not great. But I have to work. Because we got nothing else to use. Alright, if that's the case, come back over here. And bing bong. Diverted bomber production. Oh, that sucks. Now we're back to low. And it's alright, it happens. About the Kaiser, I can see what happens because then we've got to do about return of the Kaiser. More than 40% support for military regierung. Oh, um, well, that's taking a while. We really clamped down on fascism there. Also, de democracy. Oh, I forgot about that. Mm. Press censorship would be a lot better, though. Hmm, hmm, I want to move pretty fast with this one, right? Let's see what happens. Revive the Kaiser, right? Oh, they want a fighter competition. The Yugoslavian Air Force is currently holding trials for new fighter, light fighter competition. According to our air attaché, new, new smallest boys to win. A formal request by the Yugoslavian government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security concerns about selling our most modern equipment to a foreign country. Should we permit the sale to go through? Absolutely. Not bad. Rebuild the nation? You might as well. But Oh, that's definitely different. Wait, minus 20% consumer goods? And plus 20% factory repair speed, just in general? Uh, that consumer goods, is that always there? After the ravages of the Civil War, we must look to rebuilding our nation. We'll ask people to set aside their personal comforts for time, so we may focus all our resources on attaining this goal. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Well, if that's the case, I do want to get the ride of the Kajrak as fast as possible. Just because we can. We love censorship. We love it. Deck conversions, this type of carrier is not terrible. It's just not great. Do the next level two. Alright, so we're getting that stuff done, which is very nice. You know, screw it. I want to go big. Go big or go home. Nice. I don't want either one of these two. Um, heavy cruisers. And, well, actually, you know, let's go back over here. We're not even making this thing yet, so it's fine. It's fine. Level one is not good. Dang it, not good enough. Uh, level 2, radar. Oh my goodness, we don't have any radar. That sucks. Okay, there you go. Now that's better. Goodbye. Got a light cruiser. We got no... Oh, we can use that stuff. That's not bad, actually. Eh, we don't have enough for that. God dang it. That's why we need more naval XP. I have rebuild the nation, then we'll return to the Kaiser. The Kaiser Reich needs a Kaiser, and Wilhelm II still lives. Exile in the Netherlands. We will lift his exile and invite him to return to take the throne, despite what the Western democracies might think. Let's exile Wilhelm II. We currently get 1.17, which is not good enough, but whatever. Whatever. We'll do the best we can with what we have. You know what? Deploying them early is probably a bad idea, but we're going to train until they die anyway, so whatever. Don't really care. There you go. Um, artillery. Ooh, anti-tank might be really good. Actually, I've been getting a lot of anti-tank for a while now. 
I like I like anti-tank quite a bit now. Um, you guys, oh my goodness. Rapid fire guns, like cruiser batteries, go level two, that's nice. Uh, that's fine, 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 fine. Nice. Oh, we have more divisions? Oh, a motorized division, nice. Oh, that sucks, that thing is over. Whatever. Uh, I'll go with Von Klug, and then we'll go with Guderian. Von Monstein. I'll go Guderian. I always use one of these two, so whatever. Offensive. It's fine. It's fine. Wait, we'll be 35%. God dang, it takes forever. They seek Balkan claims warranted. A delegation from Bulgaria's approached our government, asked for German support for the claims of the Balkans, and seeking to secretly negotiate and secure Bulgarian territorial expansion in the region in the near future in exchange for the Bulgarian alignment with the German Empire and the country's entry into the blank. Sure thing, guys. You can have all that territory if you really feel like. Just for y'all, though. We lose stability. It's not really worth doing these ones. You get weekly stability. How much is that? 120 days? Weekly stability divided by 7. Hmm. Definitely need 40 more percent, though. Brother Nation. Well, we can do one more for do the Reich. Yeah, civilian infrastructure. I think better Germany. Well, we are rebuilding our nation. We should aim to going above and beyond what's necessary so that we can, what we build now, will stand the test of time. Uh, we're going to probably need more. What do we need? Guns are okay. Artillery's not bad, though. Let's get more guns. Go here, go here. And get some anti air as well. Yeah. More anti air. Definitely more anti air. Go and repair. It's fine. Whatever. Still only August. Not great, but not bad. Mm. Let's keep building. Build, 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 build. And when you're done building, build some more. Computer machine's nice. Anti air next. Oh no, we just gotta make it. Oh, my bad. Um, there you go. There you go. Anything else? Anti air. We got artillery. Armored trains. Trucks. Anti war armored cars, maybe. If we have enough factors in the end. Fourth International. Well, so, if we're not having civil war, so that's a little slightly concerning, but not too concerning. Fan Prussian militarism. Uh, the replaced losses of our civil war, we must appeal to the Prussian sense of militarism to recruit, improve recruitment and training of new recruits. That our military has freed us from the Nazi dictatorship and ensures that these Prussian ideals are now more popular than ever. My goodness, it's taking so long for this one. 20%. We need to get rid of de democracy and or communism support. I'll never choose this stuff, but there we go. Okay, why not? So we get how much... Basically, you get 1.4 every week. Is it worth it? Honestly, probably not. But it's okay. That's okay. Uh, you want to go level? Eh, actually, let's go over here. So I want you guys to do that. I want you guys to do this. I want you guys actually to do what? You do that, and then you come over here and do that. That's much better. Now that's a cruiser we want. Heavy cruiser, well, it's definitely a type of cruiser. What is this one? Torpedoes, torpedo dose. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. 12, that's all we can afford. It's fine for now. We'll be okay. I hope. For the of God, I hope we're okay. So now we're 39%, and now we're 40. Good. So now we're going to do a return of the Kaiser, which would be a great thing to do. The Netherlands prevent the return of the Kaiser. The dastardly Netherlands, having so long nobly offered to fill in the second refuge, have now blocked the Kaiser's attempts across on the border of Germany, and have escorted him back to his residence, Huis, Huis Dorn. The Br Dutch side concerns the stability of the continent is the reason for denying the Kaiser a return of the German throne. Well, maybe they have a point. Maybe. But uh, how about we go ahead and do a little bit of, uh, except British naval dominance. And that's with a shade. Well, let's expatriate the commies. The eternal threat of communism continues to plague our nation. We must rid ourselves of it no matter where this inheritance flee to. And then accept British naval dominance? So, yeah, we could do that one, maybe. Maybe we won't invade them. We'll see what happens. We require allies to fight communism, and the British are our promised candidate. 
will alleviate their concerns by accepting their naval superiority and disavowing any extensive naval buildup in the interest of improved relations. But we'll see what happens. What is this? Recall Vato von Vorbeck. Cool. Reese Prince Wilhelm's right of succession. Oh, 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 also, Turkey during the... Uh, well, Italy did go to war with Yugoslavia, and then they called in... Then they had the Kingdom of Romania Congress with Romania, and then they joined too, so Italy's gonna probably die. And then Turkey's in a civil war as well. Yeah. That's not looking too good for them. Oh, look at this. What is this? We didn't see the Prince of Wilhelm's right of succession. Because of Wilhelm III's son was forced to renounce his right of succession by desire and to marry against the approval of the head, then head of the family of Wilhelm II. As Wilhelm III has not taken on over that rule, he might be able to pressure his exiled father and support a reversal of his decision. Maybe, just maybe, we can get that one. By the course, there are no guarantees. And happy 1939, everybody. Hope you're having a great, 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 great year. And there's any more stuff here, too, but whatever. More planes? Why not? We love planes. Also, one died there? Eh, no one did. No one died. Just remember that. No one died. Eastern Germany. You're just kind of hanging out, doing okay. You guys come over here too. Put on there and have a good old time. There you go. And then you guys are all done. The Bol Bolivarian Alliance. All right, let time go on and send some guys elsewhere, maybe. Oh yeah, we have no army. That's right. Oh yeah, I might have gotten rid of it. Yeah, my bad. Oh well, it is what it is. Oh, oops, just pop them out. Well, would you look at that? And the army's back. Yeah, we made ourselves really weak. We'll see what happens. We'll see if I actually do upload this. There y'all go. Have a good old time, Henry Chi. Uh, we'll wait to see what we can give you there. This jab is Shogun declared clear war on just commie China. Just commie China. Alright then, Japan. Uh, I'm interested in seeing what you're going to be up to, but okay then. There you go. Have a good old time. Ireland's gone because the Irish wanted to die. Von Manstein. Blaskovitz, um, Schultz, Turkey was just absolutely destroyed, Wilhelm List, all the good stuff, of course. We already have an infantry special, so we don't really need another one in alliance with the Shea, no. Yeah, maybe next after this one, though. Alright, so, reinstate the prince, why not? Modern has succession laws. The current Kaiser's son, the, the 2B villain the fourth, only has two daughters as heirs. We must secure the line of, uh, line of succession, and so the succession laws must be modernized to allow Princess Felicitas to reign when the time comes. Women may inherit the throne. What? Women owning thrones? Like the porcelain throne? Maybe. Just maybe. So we're going to more pee-pee that way. Oh, Wilhelm III. Oh, why? Oh! Why'd you go to war with communist China first, and then these guys? Actually, can you send any volunteers? Oh, I don't think we can send any volunteers. We need 30 divisions. Okay, that makes sense. I I, I can kind of agree with that one then, if it's like that, that one then. then. Alright, and you will be led by good old uh, Guderian, I guess? Because why not? Followed up with Von Klug, yes, yes. Uh, we're doing okay here, because they did want to build up a lot of materials and stuff like that. And make a melee as well. Wow. You can definitely tell I totally did not. Wait, what? Uh, what'd you... What? Actually, I don't think I've ever really gone down this path before. Except for British naval dominance. Uh, it's 39. Let's grab some more uh, caps as well. Thank you. Alliance of the Shade. If we cannot take their place in the sun, then we shall ally, ally those who cast a shadow over us. The mutual assistance block. Oh my gosh. Wait. You joined. Why did you... Oh my gosh. Why did you join Communist China? What? Whatever. Poop them out. We need him done. We're still on total mobilization, but we'll see. Honestly, as long as I get my, my woman, if we can get the woman here, that'd be great. Because if not, then you don't, you, will, you won't see this part of the video. But maybe you will see the video. I don't know. How are... That's not, that's not too bad. Rubber's coming along. And fuel-wise, we can actually probably lower this by quite a bit. Zog submits... Well, I'm not sure why Zog would submit to Italy after Yugoslavia is... Well... Commonwealth of Nations, huh? Alright. Well, we'll kill each other, I guess. Uh, What? <sighs> okay. Why not? Just why not? Women may inherit the throne. Well, it's taken a while to get that far, so... Yeah, we lose naval dockyard with Apoit, which I really don't agree with, but that's okay. Come on, come on, 58, 59. Carrier, oh yeah, that'd be nice to get, yeah. And I was gonna hurt Alpha too, but whatever. 
Get some hangar spaces, get some more uh, hangar space, and get some more deck armor. Grab some of that too. Carriers are, they're adequate. They're, they're, they're not terrible. They're not just, just not great. Everyone's having a civil war. Even this light, they're having civil wars too. Holy crap. Give you slightly more stability though. It's not bad. How are we doing? Five still? Five minus three. That's not good. Um, yeah. Accept the dominance. Just going to do that anyways. Sin Kyung join the common turn. All right, modernized succession laws. There you go. Nice. Oh, we're still doing press uh, censorship. Nice. Well, we'll see. I don't. We'll just join the faction. Doesn't mean we actually go to war, of course. Eight days in. Carte blanche for Alsace and French colonies. Not bad. Uh, see to the Eastern Front. We can do that if we have learned anything from the Great War. It is that we must prepare for an attack on our uh, outlying eastern provinces or possessions. These possessions must be restored and fortified against invasion. Pretty much. Are we out of anything? No, we're not. Not bad. Keep getting more rubber and more fuel. That'd be super beneficial. Oh, we got military police as well, huh? Odd, but okay. We'll go with it. Oh. Oh, why would you puppet these guys? Why? Oh, so France actually just immediately left the faction. That's interesting. Of course, they do have Italy under them, too, so. One, two, three. Provi provisionary state of Anatolia. Crown regent. Just organized armed forces. All right. And then, wasn't there one more here? Oh. Yeah, I think there's a line to the shade to see what happens with that one as well. So. It's all good for now. Got plenty of command power. We need to use any more. Did you get any upgrades here? No. Well, that kind of sucks. Did you get any experience during it? No, you did not either. Darn it. Come on, guys. Come on. And then, actually, nice. Now we can spare one and get one, too. Not bad. Plenty of planes, which is nice, nice, nice to see. And then, uh, yeah, see to the Eastern Front. Great Britain welcomes us to the Mutual Assistance Block. Great Britain has decided to accept our request to join the Mutual Assistance Block. Henceforth, we shall stand or fall together. We shall set aside our differences for now, and even though I'm probably going to leave eventually, but, you know. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. We're no lo oh, that sucks. We're no longer a building nation. We're doing really, really well with that focus, but. Uh, we did ask to join them. Mm. Okay. We're still seeing to the Eastern Front, so more right, whatever. A bulwark against Bolshevism. That would not be terrible to have either. You know, I kind of want to do naval effort immediately, and we should probably honestly align Hungary and Romania quickly, so align Hungary first. Hungary's already in our sphere of influence, but we could easily sway them further. For a way of thinking. Making them even more easily manipulable in the future, which is very, very good. Now, now we have to go ahead and do request restoration of British titles, but we need the GB to have a better opinion of us in 1917. The British Parliament voted to revoke all British peerages and royal titles from German royal and princely families. Now that we are our allies and are enjoying excellent relations, perhaps it's time to request the reversal of the decision. That'd be great. Better artillery. That'd also be great. Better planes. Well, that'd be pretty decent to get, too. Um, engineers, yes. Better arty, thank you. Anything else here? No. N well, yes, but no, but yes. Anything else here better? No? We're well, good. Uh, heavies? No, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, that's not a terrible light cruiser either. So, one, two, three, four, and what do we have on these bad boys? Actually, how close are we getting this one done for radar two? We're not doing radar two. So we're doing okay. Um, super, super heavy, super heavy. Uh, this guy's gonna be really slow, but whatever. If I control one, because I decided to get that one just because we could. Heavy engine is fine, that is fine. Uh, get more anti-air, we're gonna be very slow anyway, so. Secondary batteries, secondary batteries. Actually, it goes down by point two. What happens if you can go with this one? Oh, that, uh, it makes me faster, okay. I don't wanna slow this down too much, so. And then, there you go. Lots of anti air. That's probably gonna get destroyed, but that's okay. There you go. So we'll see what happens. Oh, so now I just need more PP. That's good. They like us. Catholic Mexico joined Canada. Second Christiad. Oh, well, that's good. They went to war with America and then had a civil war. That's always very beneficial for everyone. Uh, recon? Because we can. Yeah. That is just great to see. Also, we have a lot of planes. I, I say we have a lot of planes, but 
Realistically, do we have a lot of planes? I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe not. You know. Oh, I can stop doing that. Hey, thank you. Bulls should be fully pacified by this point, right? You gotta imagine that they would be. Cool. And then we got some more fighters. Nice. Go and do that. Cut. Good. Nice. And request restoration of the British tiles. This will undoubtedly lead to unparalleled rewards. Bill the third request reinstatement of royal titles. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Um, ah, let's see to the eastern front. Very good. And a line hungry, of course. And then, ah, Mamel of uh, Lithuania folds. The Lithuanian government has agreed to our demands, and Mamel will be incorporated back into East Prussia. Yet another unlawfully stolen province has returned to the German nation. Excellent day. Allow Romania. Romania is already in our sphere of influence, but easily swayed some further to our way of thinking, making them even more easily manipulable in the future, which is kind of sad that the exact same focus reading, but whatever. Hey, look, you know what? Make more divisions. We're going to make an army as fast as we possibly can. Uh, still not too bad here. Anti-tank, do we have enough of that? No, we don't. How about anti-air? No. Yeah, we do. I'm okay with that one. That's good. That's very good. Uh, doing okay in fuel-ish. Not really, but okay, whatever. And come on, titles, 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 baby. One more. And, of course, just in case, I always like to save just because you never know if things go well, if things go poorly for you, so... Um, you know, it does seem pretty laggy to save sometimes, but that is, uh, you know, sometimes it happens. So let's go ahead and try it out. Restoration of British titles, yes. No. Maybe so. Um... Oh, they accept the request. The British government has decided to support a request for the reinstatement of the British peerages and the royal titles to German royal and princely families. They propose a grand royal ceremony of the century, to which all German royalties invited to purse would be returned of the titles that were wrongfully taken from the two decades ago. It's proposed by the imperial advisors that the entire extended royal family make a grand entrance using the very pinnacle of German technology. The state-of-the-art Hindenburg airship would suit the occasion perfectly. Hmm... We shall send a liaison. Princess Victoria Louise is sent ahead to aid in the preparations of this grand ceremony. This will tax uh, our government's resources somewhat. Oh, and apologies about that. That was my brave browser, but whatever. Uh, we shall travel together. The entire extended royal family will travel aboard the Hindenburg to the ceremony. This will increase the imperial family's prestige in the eyes of our allies and our people, strengthening our government's position. Uh, I think we'll just send Victoria Louise first. Send the woman. Oh. Oh, yeah. We, oh, yeah, whatever. That's fine. It was canceled. That's fine. Edward VIII, autocratic imperialist as he should be. Well, then again, he allied with the commies, but... Alright. Oh no, the Hindenburg of in London. In a terrible tragedy, the Hindenburg was destroyed today while attempting to dock in London. For reasons not yet determined, the air shovel was engulfed in flames and crashed to the ground, claiming the lives of all passengers and crew aboard, including virtually all members of the extended royal German imperial family. The only survivor is Princess Victoria Louise, who was sent ahead to aid in the preparations of the ceremony. The princess is the third to bear the name Victoria after her gran gra or grandmother, German Empress Victoria, and her great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, has ever become the only remaining heir to the throne, still shaken from having lost her family. She is now, nevertheless, ascended to the throne as Kaiserin Victoria I of the German Empire. The Kaiser is dead, long live the Kaiserin, which I don't... Have I ever gotten her before on the channel? I don't think I have. Wow. Okay, so let's look at our dead guy. You have 5% more stability. He's a popular figurehead. But this woman, this woman, this is our waifu. Uh, plus 15% political power. Same amount of stability as you get from Vilma III. More weekly stability. Not much, but some more. War, uh, war support. Plus 10% division defense of core territory. And more stability. Even though we lose stability. Goodbye, Vilma III. Oh, mama. I love it. I feel, I feel good. Actually, I don't know why, but I feel good now. I, f I feel really good now. I feel really good. What the heck? How's the line of the Hungarians? I can't believe we actually got it. Nice. Safeguard of the Baltic? Hmm. <laughs> this Estonian independent SSR gains safeguard of the Baltic daily communist focus. Let's do a bulwark against Bolshevism after we do the whole Hungarian stuff. So actually, we got Kaiser and Victoria Luis. It only took me until 1939, and we killed the Poles first, but that's okay. Our nation stands as a shield against Bolshevism, protecting the West from communism's influence. We must cure this mental with pride and prepare to use arms if necessary. And... Well, I guess France is not communist, so we can't take this one. We have to manually just fight against them. Probably? Ooh, rubber processing. Get some more fuel, please. Thank you. Um, after this one, let's go ahead and grab some better anti-air, perhaps. Let time go on as we're still preparing our military for to do some fun military stuff. Um, actually, we can send volunteers to China, can we? Yes, we can. They're both not aligned. China's kind of the underdog, and they'll probably get attacked a lot more, so let's send them, send them to them. I'd love to send tanks and all, but probably not. Oh, yeah. There we go, too. 
And let's give them hell. You're probably gonna die over there, so. Oh, oh, exactly 200 planes. That's not bad. 200, huh? Actually, who do we have not doing anything here? Here we go. We'll send you and you. Fighters and cluster support. You, 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 you. You all go right there. Nice. You two keep training. You and you. Yeah, you that's nice. Not bad. Cast, yes. There you go. Um. Okay. And then over here. Plenty of planes for now. Maybe not in the long term, but that's okay. Alright, not bad. Not too shabby. Bulwark against these guys. Nice. Alright, boys, what we're going to do? We're going to hold out as best we possibly can. Just don't lose too hard. Von Rundstedt is good on defense. At least for now. Portugal joins the Commonwealth of Nations. Uh, I don't want to do either one of those yet. Just go up to where you need to go on the line. Um, see that there you go. We need to. You can. You can move around if you really want to. Head on all the way up there. So after the Bulwark, take care of the Baltics. Naval effort would not be bad either. Um... Oh, then Romania. Oh, I forgot that one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now they're attacking us. It's not bad. Intel advantage, huh? Not sure if always attacking is a good thing to do, but whatever. Hmm. How much air XP are we getting? Quite a bit. Of course, we're, we're still training some planes, too, but that's alright. Could you guys actually, like, come over here and win? Or just keep defending this way too. Get more army XP that way. Exactly. More organization, better engineers. 1940, happy. The Ottoman Sultan is reborn. I don't think I've seen that one yet in my campaigns. Bulwark, though. The Bulwark. Oh, ah, you know what? Let's recall him. I like Von Lethe Vorbeck. Cool dude. Cool. And you know what? Get one of these. Even though we kind of hurt ourselves doing that, whatever. Whatever. Could get another. Ah, oh, let's get another melee as well. Screw it. Oh, ah, screw it. Get two. That's good enough. Whatever. Recon two. Nice. And let's go nuclear. I want to get some uh, nukes this time around, so. Nice. Good, 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 good. You guys are doing okay. Hopefully. Oh, India's looking free. Fr free too. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. The Japanese are really trying to attack, aren't they? 20 combat with some bad engineers. You got anti air on there as well. Oh, we actually have green air. Look at that. Go figure. Not bad. Of course, now this is 1940, so we gotta get some more stuff here, too. See what you can do. Yeah, the Chinese just lose way too fast. At least from my experience. I mean, it could, could be different from other people's experience, too, but like, it seems like it's a little too fast. And we can only get how much? 1.48. It's not bad every day. Get a lot of army XP if possible. After this, we'll probably grab. Oh. oh. Division organization. I do want more attack. I mean, I always go loot back, loot it back, but. Oh, Denzel, we're guaranteed. We don't need that. Please go ahead. Cool. And Romania. Need your upgrade. Oh, let's get some planes. We want the best planes. Uh, continue. Z works. Cool. You offense. Just to make it different. I always choose the other one, even though right now we're not going to be using offense at all, but whatever. Oh, so it's a direct finish demands, huh? I see drug relations, excavation trace. I'll uh, get some better casts. Yes. Um, infantry wise, going to deploy them early, anyways. Panzer divisions. Uh, how many mediums do we have? We have quite a few. Go ahead and do that. That's fine. Get some more motorized. That's not terrible. Armor is a little bit more. And we're out of army XP. God dang it. And we're out of manpower. God dang it. So we got to go to service power requirement next. Or at least get rid of uh, total mobilization. Because. As much as I love building as much as fast as possible, it doesn't help us out that much sometimes. Probably go down to war economy. Which I'm surprised we don't have the option to do that yet, but you know, whatever. 
Yep, no longer clamp it down and fast use the moose, but whatever. Anti-air, yeah, get a little bit more of that going. Get a lot more of that going, actually. And yeah, get more uh, medium tanks. Wait, medium tanks only cost steel. That's nice. Now, let's see if we can have all the fins. I'm going to send four. Uh, supplies are going to be really bad up there, so. Thank you. Mm. We weren't fast enough to stop them, so how many planes can we send? Uh, only 100, that sucks. Well, if it's only 100, send in the fighters. One, two, three, four, five. Is there any place closer we can get to? How are we doing in China? Oh, hello. That's interesting. Uh, okay. That's different. Metro Assistance Block. Commonwealth of Nations. You guys better move fast before they lose it. Oh, any more? Oh, God damn it. There you go. Alright, I want more, more tanks than just motorized. There you go. A little better. Panzers. Honestly, replace them with medium tanks. Give them a little more armor. Even though we do need to make some actual, like, better tanks. Like, these guys are okay. Uh, secondary turrets, heavy machine turrets. Reliability is just not good enough. Yeah. What do they have on here? Basic radio? We have be improved radio. What the heck is this? Medium turrets? Three man turret? Honestly, I'm not gonna mess with that. That's fine. Over here, what do we have? What is this? Close, close support gun, huh? Hmm. Welded armor. Why does it cost so much? Hands are bees. Should have a slightly, but yeah, I just need so much army XP. So much. Can you guys actually win there? You might be able to, actually. Good. Good. You guys trying to hold out as best you can? Uh, okay, well, there goes Greece. A line Romania. I want these guys to Oh, well. Poor Hungarians. But now they gotta fight the Soviets too, probably, so. Hmm. Peculiar. Shouldn't be able to pierce these guys. Because we do have anti air, and their piercing should be. Eh, not that great. Alright, interesting. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, not bad. So, all those stuff are done. I guess we'll probably do this one then. Ideological defenses. The military threat is not only the danger we are subjected to, we must look ways to keep the communists and communism at bay itself. And to that end, we will create a pact with our fellow non-communists with resolving to combat its advance, even though they're already on the march. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow when we're going to have to go to war with a lot of different people. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.